Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game Pie, and welcome back to the Robot Master Numerical Run. Today, it all ends with the last Robot Master of the series. So far, anyway. If they ever make any Mega Man game, any more Mega Man games in the future, chances are I'll continue the series with that guy. But uh, this is the end for now. Mega Man 10 is the last classic series game, and indeed the last guy in the line. Solar Man makes his work because he is a pretty hard robot master to fight. His stage is not the hardest, but it can be difficult. And indeed, you want to get as much usage out of our special weapons as possible because this is the end. And honestly, I'm probably going to be run out of at least one weapon by the end of this thing. Now, the weapon that we got last time, the Wheel Cutter, it's pretty useful because you can kind of use it as a barrier. You can hold out in front of yourself. Using it on a wall, you can climb the wall with it. And then it also is the ground weapon of this game, capable of going across the ground and climbing up walls. Now, this boss, I like using Commando Bomb on. Because the boss, the mini boss here, is always up next to the wall making it fairly weak to the weapon, since you can always use its more effective form on it. And then you run out. You also have to jump slightly to shoot him normally. You can't shoot him just from the ground. They're Suzak and Phoenix, by the way. They're a lot like Heat Man, but more. Alright, we've got these hotheads that come out of the walls. They, they tend to be pretty annoying. But nothing we can't handle. Wait, no, I don't want to use that. That'd be bad. Um, let's use Wool Cutter. Oh, that, that just does that. There we go. Wow, Rush, that was, that was a great jump. Okay. Wait, no. Alright, now this part you can actually kind of speed run. So let's try to do that. There we go, speed run accomplished. Nope. There we go. Yes. Wheel cutter effectively utilized. Uh, let's see. Which special weapon do I want? Commando bomb. I want a little bit more of this for later. I want a little bit of this for now. Yeah, honestly... Mega Man 10, the reason why I like it so much is probably just because of the special weapons. I think that I made it quite clear throughout this series that I love special weapons. I love using them. They're great. And so having great special weapons is kind of a prerequisite to having a really good Mega Man game for me. There we go. Nope, that wasn't that wasn't close enough. There we go. And now we have the final robot master, Solar Man. Solar Man's weapon is actually a pretty useful weapon. And with that said, uh, after this comes out, pretty soon I'm going to be making a bonus video showing off all the special weapons that I never got to use. Elect beam. Crystal Eye, Plant Barrier, no wait, not Plant Barrier, a Leaf Shield, Skull Barrier, all sorts of weapons. This one included. So look forward to that, and after that I might have a few other things to show in that video, just sort of a epilogue to the series as a whole. So be looking forward to that. But now, now we've beaten number 80, Solar Man, it's over. The series has finally come to its conclusion. It's been a lot of fun, guys. 
and I assure you, one day I'll probably play some more Mega Man again. But for now, I think we all need a break from the series. So, I'm Mr. Game Pie, and I'll see y'all later. Remember to stay sufficiently awesome.